What kind of container can you build where either the heat of the star doesn't destroy the container or the container doesn't extinguish the star? The work that Philo T. Farnsworth did, he developed a nuclear fusion process. So this is the man who had, in fact, invented television, and he takes that knowledge to try to develop controlled nuclear fusion. Every video screen on the planet can trace its origins to a sketch that he drew for his high school science teacher in 1922. When we're talking about Farnsworth, there is a lot of known facts. When we're talking about T. Townsend Brown, it gets a little bit more challenging. You'll see his work in air filters that the sharper image sold, or if you go out to the desert at night, you'll see a bluish haze flying over the desert, and his work is in that. Here is the evidence that we have that Townsend Brown worked for the Naval Research Labs in the 1930s, and I got a letter back that said in its very official language, never heard of the guy, and don't ask again. Implied in the story of Townsend Brown is that he found some way to, if not master gravity, at least to control it and to use it to industrial advantage. But if it is U.S. tech, and that can be used to explain a lot of this, that all goes straight back to Townsend Brown, potentially, right? Yes, it does.